Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. I've included a link in the description that'll take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product is absolutely perfect. If you have a small yard and you are looking to make lawn care super, super easy. So it is a basically robotic lawn mower. This thing is really, really awesome. So this was sent over by a company called Lawn Master and it is their Octa Mow set here. Once you open it up, you're gonna get everything you need to get going. So first off on my left hand side, you're gonna see this is the self charging docking station. You're gonna set this up basically at the end of your patio or set it up in the yard somewhere. It does have uh, these little holes in here because it's gonna include these big stakes here that allows you to put it into the ground so it doesn't move around on you. And the lawnmower itself is just gonna self dock and charge up whenever you need to go. It comes with a ton of electrical cords so that way if your outlet isn't nearby, you can easily get it to wherever plug you need. And these have all the weatherproof elements to them which is also a nice thing. Uh, set up for you. Now, as far as the docking station, all the controls here are on the back. It's pretty simple. All you're gonna have to do is hold down the Wi-Fi button and then go ahead and hook this up to your home Wi-Fi. Very, very easy to use. You'll utilize their um, Octomo app and then it's gonna set you through that. Now through the app, uh, you can set up things like scheduling. So if you wanna schedule this to run every other day, you can do that or if you want it to run every day, you can just basically pick however you want. And then it's gonna give you just some like maintenance stuff. It'll tell you how long it's run and things like that. Uh, very, very simplistic. Or you can also just go ahead and manually run it from the app if you wish uh, and just hit that button and go. Now, if you don't wanna use the app, that's perfectly fine. All the settings and controls can be done right here on the unit itself. Now, in addition to the um, lawnmower itself, you are gonna get a couple extra things. So you're gonna get a bunch of uh, spare a little blades. So if you do have any issues with the blades or the screws, if they wear out over time or it, you end up nicking a stick, you can easily swap out the screws, swap out the blades. Uh, on the bottom side of the lawnmower, you're gonna see the mechanism. It's basically got three little kind of like razor blades, if you will. This, each little blade here will just kind of spin around. Uh, that's how it's gonna work. And it's gonna cut about a six inch swath of your grass. And when this is going, it's just gonna kind of bounce around as a more um, random pattern, if you will. So it's gonna get all your parts of your lawn, but it's not gonna go in a line or anything. It's more like kind of one of those vacuum cleaners you have maybe for your house. This is the same kind of concept, but for your yard. It's gonna work, it works very, very well as far as finding linear. So if you have any raised beds, it's gonna be able to easily see that. If you have any random tree trunks like I have, it's gonna be able to work array around that. It knows the difference between my grass and my uh, patio, which is absolutely great. Never had an issue with it around the pool or anything like that. But if you do have an area that maybe it's more natural, so you have your grass end and there is no delineated line um, to your flower bed or you start to kind of go into the wilderness, they do include these little magnetic strips here. So you're gonna get about 32 feet of this and this is essentially a virtual fence and they're also gonna give you little plastic stakes so that way you can uh, mount this down and then you'll just leave this outdoors and so your, vac or your lawnmower here knows it will never be able to cross that line. It will sense it and then it'll just continue on and mow along the edge. You're also gonna get a nice little Allen wrench which you'll use to tighten up any of the parts or pieces if you need to do that as well um, when utilizing this device. Now, this is the R1600 model. You are gonna notice in the front, what's cool about this thing is it uses a mix of kind of like what I would say radar and then also uses cameras. There is a camera right here in the front that's looking forward and then you're gonna have two on the side. Also in the front is the little docking station and it will slide in. That is a cool little aspect that it just docks itself and charges up. So when it needs, if you have it set up on a schedule and it's done doing your yard, it'll just go ahead and charge up for the next time. So it's always ready to run um, and cover your yard. As far as how much square footage, it's gonna cover about um, 7,000 square feet of yard. That kind of gives you an idea. Like I said, it's designed for kind of smaller yards. If you have acreage, it's probably not a device for you because it, since it is more of a random pattern, it's just not gonna be able to cover that whole large yard. But for me, like this little kind of size yard, 
absolutely perfect. It just makes maintenance a lot, a lot easier. This thing just runs and then docks itself and you're good to go. It does have an IPX4 weather rating. So uh, you can leave the docking station out here um, and it will be able to handle light rain. It even has a sensor, rain sensor on it. So you can set that up for a delay. So if it is raining and after it detects the rain in the mowing, it'll delay it until whatever you want, like an hour, two hours, whatever afterwards. Nice feature. If it's gonna have, if you know you're gonna get like some super strong storms, while it does have nice waterproof cords and all that, I would just bring it in just in case, especially if you get any standing water, um, just to make sure nothing does get into the device, but it does, it can handle that rain with that IPX4 um, weatherproof rating. Now it does come with a battery. That battery is about a three hour charge, for example. It takes about two hours to fully charge. The battery just slides into the back. There's a little door, you just flip that in. Now, if you do happen to have any of the other Lawn Master um, devices, uh, the batteries are all interchangeable. So if you do not wanna wait for it to charge and you wanna swap out the battery, you have uh, maybe a party going on and you wanna make sure your lawn's really good, uh, you can swap out the batteries. It just simply pulls straight out of the back um, and then slide back in, which is a great feature. Now on the top, it does have a little handle, so you can do a drop and go um, if you don't wanna use the base station and go ahead. And it also will do a spot mowing, which it just does a little circle pattern in mows a certain area. Now, as far as the height adjustment on the low end, it will cut your grass about 1.2 inches height on the high end it will do 3.1 inches. And it's just got this little dial in the middle, just simply rotate it however height you want. And that's gonna adjust the blade mechanism itself. Very, very easy to use. There's also a big stop button on this that you can easily hit with your foot. If for whatever reason there is a safety issue or you're somewhere around and you're just concerned like it's doing something, you can easily hit that button and it will automatically turn off and stop everything. It's just a nice built-in safety feature. I've never had to worry about that issue. I've, like I said, it's worked really, really well in my yard. It stayed within all the boundaries, never had to worry to get it on the patio, never had to worry about the pool or anything like that. So it does very well. As far as controlling on the little LCD panel here, very easy. There's just a little turn dial. You got the home button, a play button is obviously when you want to get it going mowing, back button, power button. So it's very easy to control everything on the unit. Or like I said, you can utilize the app if you wish to do that itself. As far as running this thing, it, the, the sensors are only gonna work in the daytime. So do not run this at night because it has a hard time with those cameras depicting basically the shadows and things like that. So you really want that daytime so everything can see clearly in Mo. So just do keep that in mind. Uh, don't get ahead of the game and run this at night. Run it during the daytime. Um, but overall, as far as the back wheels, they are about eight inches. Um, I had no issues going over various um, divots in my yard. I don't, it's not a very flat, even yard. So it's been able to easily do that. Um, and it will be able to handle some slope. So if you do have a 19 degree or less, or basically a 35% slope or less, this can climb up that, so or down it, if you will. So if you do have some slopage to your yard, you're gonna be covered there. My yard's pretty flat, so I've not really had to worry about that, but it does have the ability to handle some sloping on it. Um, but overall, it's a really, really cool device. Like I said, if you're in the market and you're looking for a great little lawnmower, make your life a lot easier. Have this little device mow the lawn for you. Uh, basically set it up on a schedule and just kick back and relax. This thing is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I haven't quite covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys take it easy, later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.